Well, hey, everybody. You know, one problem that I was having when I was hooking up my Eachine Wizard X220 was how do I actually connect the physical receiver Flysky X6B to the quadcopter, or specifically the quadcopter flight controller? How do I do that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, as it comes, it comes with a few different types of uh, cables, but not the right cables to actually connect the receiver to this particular flight controller. So I had to figure it out for myself. So what I did was uh, I had to kind of um, basically take two, take apart two of the cables that they sent with it and then turn it into one cable that works for me. So I'm going to show you how to do that and, um, and how to connect it to your quadcopter flight controller in the configuration that you want. So time for close-up mode! All right, here's a closer view of the quad. We've uh, opened it up. We've taken the top off here, taken these six screws out, taken the side panels off. We don't need those right now. We're just going to set them to the side. And uh, you'll notice that in the with the receiver package, you get three of these cables. This is the end that you need on both sides. You want this end. It's, by the way, this little cable, really what you could do is you could just buy this little cable um, buy a cable with, with, that has two male ends on it, uh, just like this, the little three, three strand cable, three wire cable. But the problem is, I don't know what this is called, and I've looked all over the place on the internet, spent a lot of time trying to find this, and I can't find the name of this. Check the description below. If I find it, I'll put a link to it in there. So that's what you could do. But if you don't want to do that, um, and you want to just uh, get flying with what comes with the receiver here, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So all right, we're going to take this connector here, and you're going to do this on both connectors, but I'm just going to show you this on one right here. And we're going to take our pocket knife or Swiss Army knife or razor knife or whatever you have. So what we're going to do is you see these little connectors. It All there is is just a little plastic tab that's holding them in. So what we're going to do is push them forward just a little bit, and then we're going to get under that plastic tab with our pocket knife. I'm just going to kind of insert it and twist up and uh, you don't really have you you have to be a little careful not to damage anything if you want to reuse the this connector and you just get the knife under the little tab just like that and then we're going to um, just pull the tab pull just gently pull on the wire and if the tab is up like it should be, the wire should just come right out. It's a little bit trickier without tweezers. And there you go. Just pull that out. And there you have the wire. Now you're going to do that to all three uh, wires on each connector. So six in total with the other cable. And you have this little, just this little, uh, this little metal connector here. What you're going to do is uh, you're just going to open it up. It has these little prongs. I don't know if you can see it. You, you'll see it when you're looking at it. We want to we want to connect them. When we do, we want um, yellow, to, yellow to yellow, black to black, and red to red. And then basically just mash the connectors together by opening the little uh, opening the little tabs on one and then inserting the other and then just using some pliers to kind of crimp it down and crimp them together. And so there's a good a good connection. Um, it doesn't need to be really strong, but there needs to, they need to not be wiggling and have good. Uh, they need to have good metal to metal contact. So after after you do that, you can just wrap each one individually with electrical tape. And really, um, ideally, you'd want to use uh, the shrink heat shrink tubing. But I don't have any right now, so I'm using electrical tape, and that's working fine to just kind of keep them together and to insulate them from each other, which is important. And then I just take all those three strands and then just tape them up with electrical tape to make sure that they stay um, and stay together and they're not uh, wiggling, vibrating, or getting loose or anything like that. There you go. There you've got you've got your connection here, and then you have your end. This end goes in the receiver. This end goes in the quad, or vice versa. All right. At this point, we're ready to connect our receiver to the quadcopter flight controller. I currently have my quadcopter set up on clean flight using the iBus, um, we're gonna call it a radio language. And so that means that the receiver is, is speaking and transmitting understanding on iBus, and so is the flight controller as well as my transmitter. So I have it all set up for, for iBus. If you're wondering what is iBus, 
Um, I'm gonna have another video on that, but basically um, it's just a, a type of, of language that, that the flight controller is, is communicating with the receiver and vice versa. And um, for the beginner, I really don't think it's gonna matter with, whether you choose IBUS or PPM or PWM. Um, but the important thing is hooking it up. So for you to use iBus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into, you probably can't see it right there, but it says iBus right there on uh, at this port. So I'm going to plug it into the iBus port like so. There we go. Plug it into the iBus port. And then we're going to plug it into the iBus port on the quadcopter flight controller. You'll notice this is a larger port than than this cable and uh i don't know if it's really a bad thing but it seems to work just fine if i take it and i stick it in over here if you're looking straight at into the port it's going to be on your far right left sorry far left and stick it in just like that I printed out this page from the uh sp racing f3 flight controller board manual fantastic manual has all kinds of stuff more stuff than you probably ever want to know as a beginner but you can find that in the uh, link to that in the description below. And uh, but for our purposes, what I've done is I've used the um, so this is this is basically a, a drawing of the flight controller board of the top part that we're looking at right here. Um, this this part is the USB port. So really, it's oriented. We we're going to orient this in the same way. It would be like this. So we have our USB port here, USB port here. We have our um, IO one connector on the right right here so this is io1 io2 and basically if you read through this thing what it's what it says is use io1 connector for pwm ppm and this other stuff and then use io2 for serial rx and pwm so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be using this guy and it also says um, these are all of the little the little pins where the wires are coming out so they say ground vcc and channel three and that's going to be like one two three one two three like from in fact it, it has a one one through eight so one two three um it is and it says here it says slash uart three and that's going to be important later when we're setting this up uh on clean flight uh, we're going to want to make sure that we hit the uart three um little button on clean flight we'll talk about that in the clean flight setup video if you're using ibus if you're using something else, then you're going to want to use a different port. If you're using PPM, you're going to be you're going to want to use this port. If you use PWM, you're also you're going to want to use that port. Side note: you can get the manual. This also has pictures telling you where you know what's what. The P so if you were going to use PPM, you'd want to plug it in here and here. PWM here to here, I think, and then IBUS here to here, and again the USB port there just as a reference. Okay, and that's how this connector goes in. And so we stick it in and it sticks in just fine. And everything's dandy. And I think that should work out just fine for you. So there you go, that's how to connect it.